name is William Blanchet. Uh, I'm the country marketing manager uh, here in, in Belgium. Um, I'm very happy to see so many customers. <laughs> we don't see many customers in marketing. Uh, thank you for coming on such a beautiful day. Uh, I hope we'll be able to enjoy a bit of a nice view on Brussels. If it's uh, like me, your first time here at Square, uh, I think you discovered this nice, nice location. Um, it's a, it's a very important day for us at Google. Uh, some of us, some of you, sorry, have already uh, made the remark this morning in the, in the chit chat discussions in the corridors. After a few years of presence, it's our first real event uh, in Belgium. It's, it's new for Google Belgium, it's also new for Google. Uh, Google does not have a habit to uh, do events. We have a marketing uh, habit or tendency to let others talk for us. So we, we try never to take the first front and we let others talk. It is changing, many things are changing at Google, uh, this one also. Um, and so you will see more and more of these events coming in. Um, I have the mic today. But I'm really one of uh, the, 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 the team members that have organized this event today. So maybe if I can ask, uh, I will do a little, little gymnastics a few times in, in, in my intervention this morning. If I can ask all the Google team to stand up, the Belg Google Belgium team to stand up, so that you see who uh, was involved uh, in um, uh, organizing this and, and welcoming you today. So you see. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you see, you see, uh, you see, we are not many, right? It's a small team. It's a small activity. Um, hence, uh, the reason for us in the past to privilege more scalable activities than um, uh, than events. Events are not particularly scalable in marketing terms. So important because it's new. Important because it is the first event of a series that we will be organizing this year to really reach out to you advertisers, to reach out to the broader potential online advertisers, and also reach out to the policy makers um, in Belgium to raise the awareness of the importance of online business in Belgium. It is still, still something that is reasonably low um, on the agenda. Um, and we believe that definitely Belgium needs to uh, increase its efforts in developing its e-commerce activity and online businesses in general. And that is why we are releasing today a whole set of data, a whole set of information. We sincerely hope you go away with much more data than you can manage. Uh, um, uh, but at least remembering the key points uh, that, that are of, of importance. It's a series of, of events. It's the first one, so it's the most important. Uh, that's why we invited you as early adopters to start with. So you're supposed to be a friendly crowd <laughs> with whom we, we can test you know, the message. Um, but of course, feel free to raise the questions, you know, uh, uh, trigger the discussions today. We, we have allocated a lot of time to questions and answers and the microphones in the room. So please uh, con consider this morning as a privileged you know, space-time uh, interval where we can uh, exchange on these uh, important developments. <coughs> What we'll do today, we'll go first to a very brief presentation uh, showing where Belgium stands. You know, we have accumulated a little delay, uh, but we are catching up, so we'll see how. Um, and and um, we'll have the first presentation on that. Then um, we will think out of the box. So thinking online does not necessarily mean you only need to focus online. There is a lot of things to do offline too, and it's the complementarity of these two kind of medias that will really help your business uh, to grow, we believe. So I think this is maybe a bit awkward, you might think, to, uh, to look at that, but we'll have that presentation. Then we will have a, uh, the release of a study that we conducted uh, in the late of last year uh, that basically will tell what your customers told us, you know, in how they use e-commerce in Belgium. Uh, what are their reasons to adopt e-commerce more than before, and what is still stopping them to use e-commerce in that? So hopefully uh, this will be um, useful for you. And then to finish with, we have invited three very early adopters, three beacons, we like to say, people that really paved the way, uh, each in their own sense, and some of them started before Google, uh, so I think they definitely deserve uh, definite attentions. 
Um, and many of them, uh, they're all, I believe, very, very inspiring in their own way. So you are early adopters. You're supposed to be uh, you know, uh, representing some of the most educated people in e-commerce in Belgium. So before we start, I would like to check that. So I will do a little quiz now, just also to wake you up. Um, so I, I am going to ask you all to stand up, please. Thank you. So the, the, the principle of the quiz is very, is very easy. I'm asking questions. If you know the answer, you stay standing. If you don't know the answer, you sit. I will be checking. Okay. Um, I will give the answer right after the question, and if you are wrong, you should be honest enough to sit. Okay? I, I won't be able to check that. So, <laughs> so the first question, some of the things that you might be learning uh, later on, is to your knowledge, what is the share of Belgian companies today that have a website? More than 50% or less than 50%? If you think you know, you stay standing. I'm going to say the answer, and if you are wrong, you sit, please. I hope, because I have four questions, so I hope that I'm not killing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so it is less than 50% of the Belgian companies have a website. Okay? Oh, I have a long way to go. I only have, I only have four gifts. <laughs> so, in terms of e-commerce adoption, is Belgium today above or below AU average in terms of consumer behavior? Are we above or are we below? If you think we are above AU average, you sit. We are below. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then, um, the following question is, what are the two fastest growing sectors in e-commerce in Belgium over the last year? And now I'm, I'm asking you to have, because <laughs> I need to kill a few <laughs> I'm asking you to really have these two sectors in mind, okay? So what are the two sectors that are growing the fastest last year in e-commerce? So if you had a parallel in mind, you may remain standing. Okay, apparel is clothes. Sorry. I, I was, I was, is it like, you scared me there, guys. <laughs> and if you had entertainment in mind, you may stay standing. The last question is um, how much faster has Belgian e commerce been growing than Dutch e commerce over the last year? So now, if you thought twice as fast as Holland, you may sit. If you thought three times as fast, you may sit. And if you thought four times as fast, you may stay standing. And so the last one is <laughs> So I. <laughs> I have, I have more. I was, I was hoping that it'll be a bit more, a bit more winner, a bit, a bit too harsh. So that was okay. I think these, these are the kinds of nuggets of information that we hope to share with you today. Um, with no further ado, um, I would like to uh, launch the day. Maybe, sorry, one last thing. You all have a little gift bag in the, in, in the bag. The intention is not to give you a gift. Okay, Google doesn't do that. We don't. Give <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it's uh, the, the cover of the bag decorates the room. There's a little notepad for you to take notes. And because I'm the marketing guy, I put in there two vouchers for AdWords. They're not for you, because you're hopefully already uh, understanding customers and you, you understand the value of the tool. But they are for your friends, for your families. Spread the word. If you think this thing is working, um, uh, you know, I ask this in return of the coffee. <laughs>